you're not necessarily going to be put into the role, especially in such a large company. Um, if you intern, that's another story because usually you get a more of a feel for the company and the different teams and where you want to be. Um, but I joined Goldman straight out of college without any like internships. Um, and so they just placed me in a role that they thought would be, I, I don't know how they do it. I guess they thought I would, you know, the role was open, I would be the best fit. However, they decided to do it. Um, and to be honest, the role is not necessarily, it was not necessarily what I would have chosen. It was more of an accounting role. I was working with a balance sheet. Um, I, I took one accounting class in college and my father's a CPA, like I'm not, I'm, but I'm not like a accountant, you know, it's not something I was looking to do. I liked the analytics, the math, like that was really what I was looking to do. Um, so when I started, I could say I was probably a little disappointed. Um, I mean, at first, obviously I was excited, Goldman Sachs, you know, the whole, like the name recognition, it was like very exciting. But then when I actually, you know, sat down to do the job, it wasn't as exciting as I thought it would be. But the way that I approached it was, you know, you couldn't move around. It's a huge organization. There's tons of opportunity, but you want to first learn what you're doing, understand it, become an expert at it. And then you have the opportunity to move around and find a different role. And it happens to be by taking that approach and, you know, staying in my role, understanding it, learning it and becoming an expert at it. I actually found so many more opportunities within my my team and I'm still there. So it's been five years and I haven't left because in the beginning, what I thought was a mundane, annoying accounting role ended up being, we deal with so much data um, that there's just so much opportunity for analytics. And because it wasn't a traditional like analytics role that was never done before. So I was basically starting from scratch with years and years worth of data that was never analyzed. Um, so it was definitely, you know, a learning experience for me. Um, and, and it gave me a good perspective, you know, I'm not, not to say that I'll be on this team forever. You, you know, like someone said, it's you, your, your career is in this ladder, you know, you can move around, it's more like a maze. And that's definitely something I see for myself at some point. But I think it's important to approach your career, not with the like, ADD mindset of like, I'm going to be here for two months and I'm going to go to a different team. And then, because what I've seen in my experience is people who move around, move around and, and they move around teams, they move around companies, you know, what they're in one team for two months and they go to another team for two months and then they end up, you know, ultimately leaving the company. And those type of people just maybe are not, you know, giving it the right time and not giving it the right attention to actually learn and find opportunity within the field that you're given um, because within anything you can definitely make it work and you can make it work for you. Um, so that's a piece of advice I would give for anybody, especially starting out in the beginning um, where you are usually just thrown into a team and thrown into a role. Um, so look for within whatever you're thrown into, look for that opportunity, look for that part of it that speaks to you and that you can make work for you and that would be exciting for you because that exists no matter where what team you're in no matter what role you're in there is always that part of it and if it's not apparent and if it's not obvious in the beginning it's something that you'll definitely be able to find um and just one more point i know we're like short on time um but just one more point is that you know as just mentioned before coming from brooklyn college there's like ivy league schools or other schools half the people that you work with probably never even heard of brooklyn college they heard of brooklyn but they never heard of brooklyn college so yeah. it's just you have to come in with like a sense of confidence and a sense of you know self-worth that it, it doesn't matter what school you went to it doesn't matter what school anyone went to it doesn't matter if you've been there for five minutes or if you've been there for 25 years your yeah. opinion you matters what you know is important. And if you see something and, you know, it doesn't make sense to you or it doesn't look right to you, even if you're new, even if you're so, you know, even if it's come, like, you're not sure what doesn't make sense, question it, challenge it, speak up because that's definitely appreciated at Goldman Sachs for sure. And I'm sure it's appreciated in all firms, um, you know, challenging people, challenging your superiors challenging the way things are done is definitely something that that you should be doing early on and don't ju just do it for the sake of challenging um, but you should definitely if you see something that you're not sure about or that you 
you know, think is could be done better, have the confidence in yourself and in your knowledge and, you know, to just to challenge it and to bring that up. Make sure to check out the My Career tab on the BC Navigator app, where you can track your career progress based on the amount of credits you've earned, stay updated on upcoming events from the Magner Center, and watch our videos for insight and advice on your career field.